Hi, friends. It's the color event calendar, day four. I got a cup of tea and a mess. Um, I did ink a pen last night, but I did not ink it with Moonlit Veil. Uh, I inked it with Eroded Bronze and I'm not actually sure I'm in love with that experience at the moment but it's an experience so that's going for me um what am i doing i don't know i moved some stuff and now it's gone oh here it is where's number four here it is Sailing stones is a color inspired by the phenomenon of sailing stones. Rocks that seem to move on their own. That's common in the deserts. Doesn't it happen because like the ground sort of acts like ball bearings? Anybody? Who knows? Let's read this up here. I like keeping them in order in the easiest ways if you write the thing. Um, zoom. Boop. And get our implements. Where's my, here it is. Mm -hmm. I just keep the lighter over here, shouldn't I? Let's see how it works for us, sailing stones. Ooh. Pop. No, just need to keep the lighter over here. I am so frustrated by these, and yet I'm about to get more and hope that they're different. <sighs> Good luck to me. I dipped that a bit far in there. That's all right. If you can hear a sound in the background, that's probably the heater. Because I am cold. Interesting, this kind of seems to change a little bit and go a little more brown as it goes on. I'm gonna cover that just because I have a bad feeling about what's gonna happen. Um, Here's that month page, by the way. Oh, we didn't look at yesterday. Well, here it is.
Oops, it went into tomorrow. <sighs> These things happen. I watch oh man watch this my partner has us watching the dune series which is interesting and sometimes too violent and also needless nudity but you know spice must flow or something like that I don't even think they've ever said that in this show is it even really Dune if somebody doesn't say the spice must flow I never really watched the original I think I fell asleep to it once and um, but that was years after I played the uh, Dune game which was a uh, I think the first RTS. Loved that game. My brother and I both did. I think we liked playing the green team. So it wasn't Arrakis or Harkonnen. Arrakis? Atreides or Harkonnen? It was some other third green team because they had the they had a thing that would you could shoot and it would turn the things to your side. The spice collectors. You can play that online in some place. Uh, I don't know if it's legitimate, but I found it and I was delighted for a few minutes. I used to play a lot of those kinds of games. Like I played the first Command and Conquer and then I played Warcraft a bunch, Warcraft 2. I can still hear that one archer, my liege for the Alliance. Anyway, I don't sound like him, but in my head I can hear him. And it's been since the 90s, um, which was surely just five years ago. But I haven't played any. I got StarCraft, and then I was like, eh, I don't know if I like this. Which, admittedly, some of you right now are, like, disgusted with me for that viewpoint. But that's okay. I'm fine with it. What do we think of this color? This is not my color. I mean, I felt like we knew it wasn't going to be my color. I'm not sure what I think of it as a color, though. I mean, I think mission accomplished because it looks dirt, like desert dirt, you know? I think they did well. But this is going to absolutely be some people's favorite. That's what I think. I can't imagine either of these two being any, um, these two being anyone's favorite. Even though I like blue, it's not like my favorite blue. Whereas this one, kind of a taupe beige brown. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say we're on day four. I'm enjoying this experience. Definitely am. And I'm glad that we're bringing it back to the original ink vent. I didn't do videos for it. I just would have my cup of tea and I would have my little swatch card. And I actually was also swatching onto a sheet of the um, original Tomoa River. And I made rectangles on it that were like this size. So on the back of those cards, and I glued them to the back of these coloring cards so you could see it on both and so that was like my little morning ritual and I loved that so I'm glad that I have this for me and um since my partner got me the diamine ink vent uh, I'm going to be studiously avoiding the spoilers for that and then I'm gonna probably do daily openings a also in January. 
Yeah. Maybe we maybe we'll count down to Lunar New Year. That would be fun because it's my year, everybody. My year. Um, it's nice on this paper. I like it. I like the cooler undertones you get in the swatch here, though the writing is mostly the same. Uh, is this dried enough? Yeah, we'll do we'll do this real quick, and then we'll we'll go because I have to make some thumbnails. It's not a very festive palette so far. Um, but I love that. Because I think if you just stick to like festive, you're going to have something that might be limited in its usefulness to the average person. I am, I can't wait to see what this looks like when we get down here. It doesn't have, I don't know if we talked about this, but so the Diamine has 24 small and the 25th, it has a bigger um, thing, like a 30 mil. The color vent does not have a thing for the 25th. It just has up through the 24th, which to my memory is how the OG advent calendars were. You would, you would, on the 25th, you'd have double doors and it would open and it would be a little picture of Jesus and Mary and Joseph in the manger, little baby Jesus. But I was also, you know, obviously it was just like, I didn't even have the chocolate ones, man. They were just pictures. And it was because I, you know, it was a religious thing for my family, not a let's have candy thing. It could be both though, you know, if you want. But anyway, I didn't mean to talk about this. <laughs> Sometimes you don't mean to talk about things, but then you do. Uh, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.